generator runs excellent. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I think you can hear me. Maybe I'll just turn it off. Uh, I got a couple things I want to do to this generator here. Uh, a while ago, I took my, my own generator out because I didn't want to put the money in to fix it. I don't think it's worth it. I always hear them breaking all the time. I'm sure they last a while, but that generator was 22 years old. So what I got to do, I tried to run that in there without an exhaust and it, it just got too hot. I even put a thermostat back here to see how hot it got. It got pretty warm. I mean, not where I couldn't touch it, just warm that I wasn't comfortable with it. So I got to make an exhaust to go down and uh, run out the back here. So I got to do some measurement. I figured I'd film it, maybe give somebody an idea. That Westinghouse generator fits in there perfect. It slides right in there. In the future, I'll also be making some slides so I can just slide it out. But if it's raining, I don't want it sitting in the rain. I do have a lid here. This goes down on it, and I'll possibly make some sides here, just tarps. So if I do want to run and it's raining or snowing, I can leave that open. But it's a little too hot for my comfort in there. So. I mean, I can make an exhaust go down. The only thing is, is my gas cans. I put my gas cans in there too, and they fit in there just right. I don't know if I'll be able to put them all in there. I'll have to find another spot for them. But I'm gonna take some measurements here and get that out. I gotta get over here, run a pipe from here out, and then down, and then over. So I'll go from that size to a really big one. That way, it gets enough airflow. I don't wanna screw up the performance on the generator. So it should be okay, I hope. It definitely works pretty good though. Uh, I had to, I run a watchdog. I even run it on my generator. So it works pretty good. I can monitor the power coming in. Uh, if there's anything that happens with the generator. This generator is pretty nice. You can hear me, it's really quiet. I mean, super, super quiet. I mean, I'm right up on it. I mean, it's perfect. I can, can't even barely hear it inside of the coach. But it's got a nice meter here too. It shows your current hours, your hertz, uh, all time hours. It's pretty nice. Let's get cracking here. Uh, first thing I got to do is take all this apart and get a good measurement on that exhaust in there. Because I want to go from that size and get as big as I can to not ruin the performance on it. So I'm going to take it apart. Oh, there you have it. This is the spark arrestor. Which uh, on these generators, you gotta take these apart and clean them every once in a while. You gotta just throw that in there. But now I need to get a pipe to come into here, over that, clamp it down, and come out about six inches and go down, or even at an angle, or maybe even a bend. Less, I don't want a 90 degree in there. I don't want it getting hot. I'm gonna run down to the hardware store and see what I can get. Well, I went down to the hardware store and they really didn't have anything that I could use to thread on there. And like I said before, the gas cans go back there too. Uh, this fits right on there, like perfect. But this is the came off my, this is actually my ladder off the RV. I don't know if this could handle the heat. Uh, I may just stick it on there and let it run for a while, see what happens. But with this, fits on there so snug that I can actually take it off to get my gas cans back in there if need be. Gas cans can sit underneath the RV if it's raining or something. I just don't want this out in the weather. It's a pretty expensive little generator here. I don't want to destroy it. Uh, I'm going to try that. I'm just going to stick it on there and, and run her and see how hot she gets. Uh, it should change the oil. Let's see what happens. Another thing I noticed, this started melting. This isn't lined up because this bracket's bent. In one of my other videos, I, sh I went over this. I made a four-part. Uh, this is actually the second generator that I had gotten. The first one came destroyed, all bent up. It was bad. But from this little bracket being bent, it knocks this off from lining up here. And I took, that, took the cover off, and I was inspecting it and noticed uh, it was melting. So I cut it out. Better safe than sorry. Huh. That's about, I think I have, there's 44 hours on the, on the generator so far. Not very many. I really haven't used it too much. I use solar a lot. That's dangerous. Well, if you get a Westinghouse, make sure you look it over real good. Really good. 
That sucks. Generator works great. I mean, it's quiet. Uh, I tried to run one of my air conditioners. I couldn't do it at 30 amp because there's not a slow a slow start on my generator. If I put a slow start on it or a slow start on the air conditioning unit, it would probably work. But this is scary. I'm gonna have to look over this thing again. Just glad it didn't catch on fire. Wow. Now I'm really worried about running this generator inside the, the back of the RV, but I got to keep it covered if, if when I'm boondocking and I need it and there's raining and I can't get no sun. That's what I need this for. Looks like there's another little spring in there or screen for the part of the spark arrestor. I'm going to actually take that out and I'm going to put it on the end of that pipe down there whenever I get it cut and measured. See what happens. I really don't want to eliminate the spark arrestor, but yeah, it won't fit over it with this screw down here. And that's the spark arrestor. That screen there and this screen there stops these sparks from coming out and hitting the ground and starting a fire. Uh, that's why I'm going I'm to use this. This will slide right inside of the other pipe on the bottom. Everything looks clean for 44 hours. Nothing looks uh, nothing looks too bad here. Looks pretty good. Not, no carbon buildup, but if you ever own a generator and it doesn't run right, take your spark out, your spark arrestor out, and see if the screen's clogged. That's a lot of problems with generators have them. You know, you're running f cheap fuel in them, so. That fits really tight on there. I mean, like tight. I'm going to get a file. I got some edges in here from when I cut it with a saw. File these down. It'll fit on there really snug really snug. I, I want to make it so I can take it off, put my gas cans back there. Yeah, have it. Weight's on there tight too. Uh, this might work. i got to figure out my length, how far down I want to go. I'm going to start real long and uh, put this back together, put the generator in there and then get the correct length. It works out pretty good. I don't think it'll leak. If I have to, I'll put a little clamp on there, but I'm just I'm going to run it for a few hours. Outside the RV, of course, to make sure nothing gets too hot. If this gets too hot, I won't be able to use it. I mean, it's it's, it's aluminum. Um, I don't think it'll be. I think it'll be all right. I think this will work. Uh, it's pretty hollow in there. I mean, there's some holes here. I got to figure out how I'm going to patch. Maybe I'll just alleviate some of the heat. Maybe I'll just leave them in there. There's a screw in here going straight to the middle. That don't do nothing. I didn't put the spark arrestor in yet. I'm going to run it like this for a while. I'm going to let it go an hour or two. Keep coming out here see how hot it gets. Let's fire up. On. Put a choke a little bit. Oh, hey. Got to turn that on too, dummy. made it even quieter though, I'll tell you that. Holy cow. Enough to get a piece of metal to hold this up. It's really quiet now. <laughs> See how hot it gets. Super quiet generator. Wow. I hope this works. I'll put a board down there. I don't think it'll get that hot. Hope not. Uh, I can't get this tight though. I may set a set screw in there instead of using that clamp. Generator spinning, producing that air. At least I think, anyway. That's a lot of air. Maybe there's a fan back there to keep the muffler cool. Huh. I'm gonna do some Google on this, do some research. See if I can get a parts diagram with this whole thing ripped apart. Uh, it might even be in the manual. I don't remember. I'm gonna go look though. That's a lot of air coming out of there. Wow. I'm trying to stop the heat from sitting in there. Not that. So an eco mode switch on this. Cut some power down, makes it a little more quiet. I'm gonna crank it up, see how hot that gets. But by the touch, it's pretty hot now. Hot. Uh, it's 
might not work. I may just have to uh, take it out every time I run it. Or make a wall in here. Might be able to bring it out here, get some fireboard or something to put back there. I, I don't know. I just don't I don't trust it back here getting that hot. That pipe's that pipe's definitely hot though. Well there's a diagram. It did it does show a breakdown in here. I thought it did. That's gotta be the generator blowing that air. <clears throat> Maybe they directed it that way to try to keep that uh muffler even cooler I'm gonna go with that I don't see any fans in there I don't see nothing so that's from the generator in there spinning should be alright well no fire it hasn't stalled on me still running the same I think this might work that's pretty hot air coming out of there though I still may have to put a false wall in there my hand here, it gets warm, but it's not burning my hand. This thing's really good on gas, too. That's about 10 hours. It's just over, uh, just over half. Uh, last time I did this, I got 18 hours out of a full tank on, on eco mode. Uh, not running very much. Just my stereo, laptops, and everything else. TV. Pretty good on gas. Well, I'm going to try it in here now. See how hot that gets. I still got the thermostat in the back. I got a piece of wood blocking this up. That thing's a pain in the ass getting it out of there. I mean, it's, I think it weighs 80 pounds. It's not that heavy. It's just getting it up over this lip. I'm still going to make some type of a tray to drag it out. So I'm going to cut here, cut here, and attach this that I cut off to this. And then you'll have a lip here. It'll just close right on. It won't make, really make a difference. And then get something to, in here to slide in and out. I may do that. I don't. Muffler works fine. It's not hot. It doesn't get too hot, but I'm gonna fire it up again. And let it set for another hour or so. Uh, keep an eye on that thermostat there. Make sure it don't get hot. Boy, she just fits in there, though. I'll tell you that. Looks good in there. Oh, there you have it. I have to make a bracket. Go over here and hold this. Hold this a little better. that spark rasher in the bottom of that. That's tamping up a little bit. Uh, last time I did this without that pipe on there, it got up over well of what? Yeah, talk right there, guy. It went well over a hundred. Uh, Seventy-seven right now. Keep an eye on it. And always, I hope you can hear me. I'm gonna yell as loud as I can. When I turn my generator down, this is my this is my fuel valve. I turn it off for a little bit. I let that fuel run out of that bottom of the bowl. A lot of these will fail that way. They sit for a while and that fuel goes bad sitting in that bowl. As soon as you fire it up, it's pretty dirty. Good idea to do. Well, there you have it. This video really wasn't about anything, was it? <laughs> that's, that's all good. Maybe somebody will learn something or leave in the comments, give me a little better idea. Uh, I really couldn't get anything in the warehouse, or not the warehouse, but the uh, hardware store to fit on that. It's, it's, it's all ball size. I mean, this works. This got kind of warm, too warm for my liking still. All that hot air coming out over here from that generator spinning, right there. But I am gonna make that bracket coming out here in my next video, not next, but whenever I get around to it. Winter's coming, I don't think I'll have it done by then. But uh, hey guys, like, subscribe, leave a comment, any other ideas, uh, I'm up to anything really. I don't wanna keep taking this thing out all the time. So uh, like, subscribe, I'll see you in the next bit. Later.